Okay. Here we go. Hi, Nancy. <clears throat> Thanks for coming back, Hi, Rick. I um I can't feel my fingers. I was outside. It got super cold really fast. <clears throat> I'm still in my work clothes. I don't know why I didn't change, but it is what it is. Today I have been running like a crazy person. <clears throat> this is a very small wreath frame. It's an 18 inch. And I'm not going to use any mesh. I'm back. Hey, Sharon. Hi, Lisa. Yeah, we got flurries all day. Nothing really stuck. It just wet the ground a little bit, and that was about it. Uh, hi, Sharice again, and Maria. <laughs> So tonight, I'm going to do a, a quick, small, I'm into the small thing, I don't know, um, I'm not going to use any mesh, so it's going to be little, but I'm going to just spruce it up. I'm using a Dupioni too. I don't know who I am these days. I don't really care for the Dupioni, but I do love it, the plaid, and I love Nancy this. Nancy said she would have liked the yard one with one more, pe with one pillow. Shut up, girl. My pillow hasn't arrived. Hi, Willie. But I love this Dupion with the um, with the snowshoe. So we're going to make it work. All right. It's a one and a half. I have these little berries that have the dark red. A teensy with a green shade. Um, teensy weensy bit of greeny sage. A slight bit of gold. So that's going to work for this as well. I do sound a little like I'm going through puberty. My voice goes in and out, especially at night. It gets really tired. Look like a hot mess express. Anywho, <clears throat> we're going to be dipping and sticking. And we're going to make ourselves a little bit of a wreath. And I'm going to tell you a little story about PP. You heard me. PP. My sweet Luciano. Yeah, I'm telling his stories. She's telling on you. Nana says, Luke, she's telling on you. I'm going to tell on him. I pay his bills. He lives here rent free. He's fine. Uh, so, my sweet, sweet boy, he has this thing about, he wants to go out 50 times a day when I'm home. When my mom's here, he don't need to go out at all, right? Until I get home and then it's in and out, in and out, in and out. Just, you know, because he knows he can railroad me and I'll do it. Nana will be like, screw it, you're not going out. <laughs> I don't have to say a word. Either. I know, he sleeps all day. He's a perfect gentleman for Nana. Oh, Lord. Anywho. Our little friend is over here. She wanted her seat tonight. She wouldn't go over to Nana. Oh, look at my t-shirt. I forgot to show you this. <gasps> Angie. Um, look at my little shirt. I like it. Real thick and juicy. I was going to say something else. Sprucy. Sprucy. Real thick and sprucy. That came from Angie. Um, but I was going to tell you... Maria loves, loves her tumbler. She's ready to give the dog away. You know, his name was Duke, and I was calling him Dookie, and she didn't like that, so she changed it to Zeus. I still call him Dookie Dukes, because <laughs> he looks like a little Dookie Dukes. I don't know. He's adorable. But Maria wasn't finding him adorable because she was very sick last week and her husband wasn't home. And she got her anus cookies today. They're delicious. Oh, I'm so glad you got them. Um, and she was sick and the dog, he doesn't like to do his dookie dukes when he's on a leash. And she, you know, when her husband's home, he goes out without a leash. They beep, they make the noise, and he comes right back. Apparently, whenever Maria tries to let him out, the neighbor, either a neighbor and a neighbor with a dog is outside, and he won't come back. He won't listen. He doesn't listen to the beeps. She's like, I'm going to kill him. He's coming to live at your house. And I was like, okay, fine. He needs to be able to <coughs> run around, <coughs> excuse me, and stay in a fence. He could probably hop the fence if he wanted, but whatever. I digress. That's really story number two. So she was really dying she was really not feeling well and the dog was just not cooperating every time she put him out somebody showed up whatever so then Angie's here I don't know if she heard you before because I didn't see her before oh I thought you said 
She wanted it to have one pillow. No, not, no, 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 not that somebody else. Oh, yeah, Angie, my sister Maria loves her mug, and I'm. she loves the mug. She doesn't so much love her dog right now, and that's what I'm telling the story about her dog. Duke, I call him Dookie Dukes, but his name is Zeus because she changed it because I call him Dookie Dukes. <laughs> but he, he's such a big dummy that I just think Dookie Dukes fits him. So, anywho, all morning, she let him out trying to let him out, put him on a leash. He won't go potty on the leash. He's, you know. Was that before Olivia came home at 5 o'clock? Yeah. Then Olivia came home and she, wait a minute, what are you saying? So after, anyway, in the morning when they're getting ready for school and whatever, she's trying to let the dog out. He wouldn't come back because the neighbor came out with her dog and the, the dog don't listen. It don't matter what you do. He don't listen. And Maria was freaking annoyed because she didn't want the dog. Her husband wanted the dog. And he was away. And she was really, really sick to the point where she almost collapsed at the pottery cellar on Saturday. She apparently allowed her electrolytes and all of that to get out of whack. And she just, what, and she's still recovering from that. She's still having to drink special stuff and all the, you know, it is what it is. We let ourselves get run out and that's what happens. So she was really annoyed with the dog that he wasn't behaving. She just wanted to lay down. She, her body was killing her. So she's like, all right, let's go get in the bed, move, move, move. In the time that it took for her to get down the hallway, Mr. Dookie Dukes Zeus went down the hall and shat in her bedroom. And she was like, fine, it is what it is pick it up, throw it in the toilet, we'll go to bed, everything is fine. So she does that and she turns around. In the meantime, he peed in his dog bed so much that the dog bed wasn't absorbing it. It was like a river around his white feet and his feet were turning yellow. So she's like, blah, 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 and she starts screaming. The dog goes, okay, and jumps on her bed with the pee, pee paws in the bed. Oh, she was freaking livid. Her son calls, and she's on the phone with Tanner, and she's like, Mom, are you okay? And she's like, Wah! and she starts crying. I'm not okay, blah, 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 blah. And I, he's like, do you want me to come home? And he, she's like, no, Livy's going to be here. Anyway, so Livy shows up. In the meantime, Tanner must have called his father, Maria's husband, and said, uh, boy, you better call your wife because she's losing her shit. So Jeff calls, and all she wants to do is lay down. You know how it is when you're sick and you're just like, I got to put my head in a pillow. She calls and he's like, I'm coming home. You know, da, da, da. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. I'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. Just leave it. And she's crying and hysterical. Why? It's a true story. Your own story. I'm going to tell my pippy story. Hold on. That's a funnier one. Anyhow, anyhow. Kevin was sick last Thursday. He was for three days. He's better now. Who's that? Kevin. Oh, dear. TT's husband. Oh, dear. Did he have COVID? Listen, everyone I talk to is sick. It's just the time of season, you know. Uh, so anyway, that was their traumatic thing. She was like, I'm giving him away. That's it. He's not staying here. So I said, ah, oh, just bring him over, whatever. He's so beautiful. I'll put up with it. It's fine. I'm at work all day. Nana will have to deal with it. But um, the, two, the two puppies, both Pumpkin and... What's his name? Zeus. Zeus. I can't get... He don't, he don't look like them Zeus to me. He's a Dookie Dukes. Mr. Dookie Dukes, they're fighting constantly. Play fighting, but she's like, will you shut up? Like, it's constant. He, it, they don't his, stop. His um, bid test was negative. What's that? Oh, okay. Well, that's good. The crop I have, not COVID. Nana doesn't have it. We're just... I think I'm, I'm actually still coughing from when I did have COVID way back in October. And um, it just, it's one of those things that just doesn't go away, guys. Oh, all right, so here's my story. How is everybody? Happy hump day. Hump day hump. Do the hump day hump. Hey, ladies. It gave me negative. Hi, Maria. Hi, everybody. So it's been a wild week. Okay, so <laughs> I forgot what night it was. I can't even remember. But 
Mr. Luchi Lu has this thing. He's got to go in and out and in and out the whole time I'm home. And then he usually settles around, you know, 830. And he's out like a log until I decide to go to bed between 10 and 11, depending upon the night. So when I when I go to get up to Here's go to bed. Not feeling that great. Oh, no. Oh, Tracy, just watch it and rest if you can. So I got up and instantly I wake up Gia because Gia must go outside before she goes to bed or she'll just pee right on herself sleeping and not wake up. So she has to go outside. Plus she's not feeling well and she can't really make it through the night. So anywho, long story short, she's all set. She goes outside, does her business. And Luciano looks at me and he's like, screw you lady, it's raining. So he goes to bed and he does it a lot. And he doesn't usually have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. However, I had to be up very early so this must have been, I had two really early days. Was today Wednesday? Mm -hmm. So Monday I had a poop ton of stuff to do at work. Um, and then Tuesday, no, not Tuesday. I don't know. Today I had to be up very early because we had the mayor's coffee hour and blah -de blah -de blah all that stuff. So, of course I'm exhausted because I didn't really sleep all that great. And Luciano knows how to open my bedroom door because it has a lever. So he just walks up and he goes, he takes two steps back and boop, he's out the door. Well, I didn't hear him do that. The, I, I must have been either sleeping hard or in a dream. I don't know what it was. I might save that one little piece to mix in with my... These are the snowshoes that Scott picked up for me when he was at his wholesaler. <clears throat> we don't need this. Bye-bye. So... I I hear click, 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 he's running back and forth, and I'm like, oh, okay, you must have to go, and he's running back and forth to tell me, hurry up, I'm going to pee on the floor. Well, I walk down the hall, I'm barefoot, in my jam jams, and I walk into the kitchen, and I go right past my chair, bang, I don't I hit the floor, like, I was on the floor, and I didn't know I was on the floor, I was like, what's happening, what's going on? until I realized my pajamas were absorbing what I can only attest to probably be two gallons of pee pee. <gasps> Did you just fart? Did you hear that? Nana! I said pee pee, not poops. What's the matter? Want to go see Nana? Anywho, there I am, a sponge on the ground, me and my fat self and my cotton, you know, pajamas absorbing all of the pee pee on the floor. And I can't get up. One leg went straight. The other one went like, burp, like that. I said, if I have a broken hip, I'm rationalizing with myself. I said, there is no way in hell I'm having the EMTs come to my house while I'm sitting in pee pee. I'm going to have to strip these clothes off, soak up the rest of the pee pee, have Nana wash me down. This is all happening in milliseconds. Who's in voice? I don't know what you're saying. Oh, Tracy, he or if you order from him, um, I just Venmoed him the money because I had I knew what the cost was. If you email him and say, Hey, I got such and such at um info is it info at Waterman's Loft, he'll tell you what it is. Um so here I am in a pool of peeps, my dogs running back and forth, and I, I'm like broken in a split I don't want to discuss, okay? I'm thinking my hip is out like a chicken wing. This is going to be problematic. And I like to think, so I'm on the ground literally going, <laughs> all I can think about is, they're going to come and have to get me off the floor at 5.30 in the morning covered in pee. Oh my God, I was not happy. So slowly, I, you know, roll over, pick up the rest of the pee with the other half of the dry pajamas, because why not? <sighs> and I roll over and get on my hands. Now my hands are in pee. I'm barefooted in pee. And I stand up and the pee is running off me. It's a lake of pee pee. I can't go anywhere because everywhere I go, I'm dragging pee. Okay? <laughs> it was such a pretty sight. And I'm swearing, and I, I, now I have to get up and let the dog out 
So I'm like trying not to make too many steps, and every time I step, it goes. There's so much pee. He's never not going out to pee before we go to bed again. Moral of the story: All dogs must pee before night night. So I'm like, all right. I let him out. I'm standing in the middle of the dining the living room. I strip off my pajamas. Now I'm naked, still covered in pee pee, and the lights are on. I have lights every, not in the house, but outside. There's spotlights coming in. I'm like, this ought to be beautiful. I'm going to be on the news. Be in, oh, my God. This is just. So I limp over to the sink to get some bleach stuff because I'm like, I'm like, I got to get this stuff off me because it's everywhere. I throw my pee pee pajamas in the sink. Oh, my God. Then I'm like, he comes in like and goes right to bed. I'm like. He's like, thanks. Night, night. As I'm cleaning up pee with my bare feet and a, a Lysol pads, trying to soak it up, and oh my God, a towel. Then I come back here to the, the bathroom, throw all my pee pee pajamas in the washing machine. Then I've got to half take a shower, get all the pee off me, put on a new pair of pajamas. I lay down in bed, and 10 minutes later, Beep, 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 my alarm goes off. I'm like, I just want to die. <laughs> That's my life. Anybody yeah, else got a pee-pee story? Laughing. Any other pee-pee story? Anyone got one? That was my story. We had a lot of pee-pee going on this week. Oh, gosh. Gia is still pooping snow cones. We can't get her regulated. Right? Still pooping snow cones, and you still stank. You still stanky. Anywho. Story of my life, people. I'm going around, I'm mixing in. This is my, as you know, favorite IC eucalyptus mixed with my favorite bush from the Michaels. Just keeping it all light and sprucy green. There's 700 of them downstairs. 700 of what? Those no, I do not. Mind. I've been using them. Don't be exaggerating. Do not exaggerate. Oh my God. It's been a week, people. And it's only when is today Wednesday or Tuesday? What is today? I don't even know what day it is. You're so lucky you didn't hurt yourself. Yeah, because um, I'm still feeling it. I thought, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Yeah, every time I take a walk, this my hip goes kick, kick. It's got a little hitch in my giddy up, but I'm all right. I'm fine. I'm fine. I said to Luciano that night, it's a good thing I didn't break my hip because Nana ain't taking care of you and Maria already is hating all the dogs. It's not a good week. <laughs> She's not taking you in. Ouch. Just put that right into my finger. All right. I got to get all those cups. That's what I forgot this morning. All those cups, Mom, down to the pottery cellar. I keep forgetting. You guys, what is going on cards? in the fake baking world? Did what? you get all my cards? I got all your cards and I got two things of stamps. I sat there put and put all the stamps. Up. I put all the stamps on the cards okay, before I sent them out. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. It's only 11 cards. It's not like you're... I bought two packs. All right. So here we go not using, Sharon will be happy, I'm not using any mesh. I have to decide. I, I don't want to put too much greenery because I want these to show. I think that's going to be okay. I want it to be all my snowshoes sold. I'm so happy. At the country club. Because they made the, they just made this wine room there. And they have like an antique pair of skis on the wall and they wanted to put up my stuff so I was happy about that. Super happy. Alright, so let me see here. I'm going to use some green like this. And there is a bar right here in the back between both of these. I'm going to go through this one sort of in the center and hopefully make it work with just one. Hopefully. I was down at the Home Depot 
eyeballing the new reindeer. <clears throat> I didn't buy it. Rice and venison hamburger. This is Missy Bear. For the dog? And walk the dog a lot outside after about a half an hour after the dog eats. That's what the vet had me do. For, well, so Gia has a couple of medical issues, one of which is she has no vitamin B12 in her body, so she has to be on that, and she's going to likely have to be on the steroid indefinitely, um, because she's basically got the equivalent, it's IBD, irritable bowel disease. Okay, we got that one, now I'm going to do another one. In an inconspicuous little spot, if I can find one. What are you doing? You want to get down? You want to sit with Nana? No. She looks like she wants to jump down. Yeah. Oh, are you tooting again? We got people watching. She don't care. She just lets them fly. Okay, we got them in. I don't think they're going anywhere. Give them a shake test. All right, you want to go see Nana? All right, hold on, guys. Oh, my God, that stinks. Here you go, Nana. You can have her. She stinks. She is bam. It's okay. So I decided to use... <clears throat> I'm definitely going to put these up in here. Probably in the middle a little bit, but I want to get my ribbon in there first. A little doopiony. Let's do this. Let's give it a long tail. Oh, right on the splice. How lucky am I? Mm, mm, mm. I've been replenishing. <laughs> my ribbons. Done a little purchasing. Stimulating the economy. CT said he saw the reindeer at Home Depot. Yeah, he's gray this year and his saddle's a little different so I'm like, oh, mine have the harnesses, these have the saddles. Not the talking one. Are you talking about the talking one with the fur? He's really good looking but he had, would have to go indoors. This looks too big to me. Hold please. Um... What was I saying before that? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Gosh, what was I saying? Help me, what was I saying? She's, that helps them poop, she said. It probably isn't regular because of the steroid meds. Oh yeah, she's definitely, the steroids are supposed to reduce the inflammation in her intestines so she doesn't have snow cone poops, but ugh. It's very snow cone-ish outside if you know what I'm saying. I gotta hose down the deck. Like you can't even pick it up. It's gross. Alright, so. This Dupony gets a little bit like ripply on the sides. Well, you call it Dupione or Dupione? I don't know. I make everything Italian, so I'm gonna call it Dupione. Um, it just. I love, love, love the color of this and I love the shiny of it, but I don't love working with it. All right, we're gonna do that. We're gonna stick with the four. I'm gonna cut this long. Gia, could you please have a lick in his ears? God almighty. Okay, and I'm gonna use another one of these. I started saying something, Ma. What was it? You just keep talking. I don't know. No, she doesn't seem to be any, in any pain. She's not in pain. And she wants to eat constantly, which is part of the steroids. I'm sure it's not comfortable to be pooping like that, because no, Lord knows I don't want to do it, but... Jeff, this is Happy Hump, hump Day, Jojo Nana. Man. Happy Hump Day, Four Jeffrey. Four-footed, spoiled children. All my spoiled babies. You got that right. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Today, I did... Refurbished your ribbons. Uh, oh, yeah, I did do I did a little summer ribbon buying. Hoo -hoo. Anyway, um, today I did a lot of good charity. Today I felt good about it. My friend Aiden, who got my sister pumpkin. 
<laughs> and Dookie Dukes. <laughs> Aiden is on the poop list. Poor Aiden. Pumpkin, so, he, Pumpkin had some issues, but she's all better now and she's perfect. Um, Aiden took in a. He rescues everything, right? And they had a mama dog come in and she had like five puppies, I forget. And then another mama came in and, and they found her on the street with three of her pups. I'm sure she had more, but you know, no one knows where they are. So he not only took in that dog, he took in both mamas. So he, in a couple of weeks when they're 10 weeks old, he's gonna be looking for houses for both mamas and all the babies, yada, yada. I need to clip these because they're sticking out. <clears throat> so I saw the pictures of the babies. Ooh, they're so cute. And the mamas are sweet, sweet, sweet doggies. But I was like, oh, I can't adopt those dogs. He had an Amazon wish list. So I went on there and I bought the stuff on the wish list. And <clears throat> I did that. So that was fun. Sent him a little note. Goodies on the way. And then I had to do some shopping for the holiday party for the university. It's in 12 days. I still don't have the money from the uppity ups that I'm supposed to go buy, you know, gifts for four parties. Four parties. Because, you know, we all have different shifts and blah, blah, blah. And there's one big party and then there's second shift, third shift, and then a dining party because everybody has different shifts and it's, our party is not convenient for dining because dining has to do the work and, oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. But, you know, I, I go to TJ Maxx to get games, family games, right? Also, I don't know who's winning this stuff, so I have to get stuff that's both for men and for women. And I can't spend over a certain amount per gift. So I tend to get games and chocolates. And one of these days I'm just going to call it quits. I'm going to go to the liquor store and buy, you know, a thousand beers. And we're, that's it. <laughs> Anywho, while I was there, we have this thing called Stuff a Cruiser. <coughs> and I love our public safety guys. They're super kind. They do everything they can to prepare us for the inevitable things that happen like in Nevada today which is horrifying and we train for those things and these guys there's only a few of them on our campus get us ready for all of that and I just adore them and they do a lot of things for charity they'll do like a cornhole game to support I don't know whatever but this year as they have done in many years as they support um, mothers and children of domestic <coughs> abuse these are these poor women they like they'll go in the middle of the night they'll go grab them they have the shirt on their back and their kids and that's it so I decided that instead of buying presents for the children because the children always get stuff I was able to go to TJ Maxx and I found two I probably could have found more if I kept looking Columbia um, like fleece jackets I was like for 25 bucks each and that's pretty cheap for Columbia and I wanted something you know good so I got two of those and ran them over of course I was late for the stuff for cruiser but they just collect it in the um the guard house anyway so that made me feel fabulous I did that what's that I am just rolling these, but I just cut that straight and not on an angle, and it's a little bit too long. But I'm loving the color scheme of this. What's the matter? She's spooling out my... I can't... Oh, G is stepping on the iPad. She hates that iPad. She'll crawl right up to Nana and go, flick. What's that? What's that? Oh, she's blowing them out. She goes with the farting again. Stop talking about me. Oh, shut it. Stop talking about me. Ha, ha, ha. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to have that up there. And then I'm going to go back in and add... Where did I get these? These are from the at-home store. And I really... Typically... I like these berries with the brown stick because it's wooden, right? But if it was something else and it was white, I wouldn't be happy with them. But 
some days it works out like all these colors here go with all those colors there. Huh! It's magical when something works out and you don't plan it. I love that. So I'm just going to break these down and we're going to go around. I've got a bunch of them, so we're going to use them up. Uno. Dos. Tres. We're going to use them up because i got a lot of them. I'm going to break them all down. What's going on with all y'all? Hey, Bettina. How's New Jersey? Hi, Evie. Hi, Kelly and Lisa. Yeah, I totally did. Love me some ribbons. Guys, I'm a little bit nervous. I don't think I'm going to make my 5000 by Christmas. Ever since I stopped doing those lives every single day, it stopped. I haven't earned one more follower. I don't know what the deal is. Uh, but I cannot do lives every day. Number one, I'm tired. And number two, it costs too much money. <laughs> it costs a lot. All right. Let's see. Let's come over here. Ooh, I did get some up. Uh, so typically I don't do a lot of Valentine's because it doesn't sell around here. But I got a few shiny hearts from Miss Babam. And my friend Adriana, the one whose house I did, she already wants a matching celadon wreath for her front door for next year. So I'm working on getting that stuff. I already have one of the ribbons. Thank goodness I bought two rolls. I love that celadon with the pearls. And another little something or other for the wall in the TV room. And for January, she wants the one that I did with the clock. Tracy that black says, 2024 is going to be your year. Oh, I hope so. Sent, if, if 50 stars. Oh, thank you for the stars. Thank you so much. Um, oh, that's not why I said it was expensive. You don't have to send me stars. But thank you. I appreciate it. But that's not, that's not what I meant. And my star money, that's my other charity, so I'm excited about that. Um, I'm a giver. I like to give. I like to give. But this year, I have to stick to 50 bucks. My sister said, 50 bucks. And I was like, all right. And of course, I pulled my sister Maria. <laughs> I'm sure she was like, well, if you want to spend more. No. <laughs> So this year we all picked names. I gotta call my dad and see if we can do that for him. I don't know what the deal is, but we we don't need anything, you know. We just don't need anything. I mean, he can pay my mortgage off, but he can't do that. So you know, <laughs> so what the heck? We're too old. We don't need to be getting gifts and doing all that stuff. So. My dad likes to do it, so I don't know if we can if we can talk him out of it or not. Plus, they are building so my dad's house oh don't you do it is literally the street right there and over. And um he is adding on to his house so that he and his wife are gonna go there into the addition, and then he sold the house to his granddaughter, his wife's daughter's sister, his grandchild, okay, by marriage. So they're, you know, we don't even know if we have a, normally we go to his house and we celebrate his birthday and Christmas because my dad was born on December 21st and I was born on January 21st. I think I remember. But anyway, that's not the point. That's not why I said that. Lisa said, uh, but we just need to stop giving gifts, right? We could just go out to dinner, and that would be a lot easier than having somebody have to cook or, you know, open up the house. And it just would be better, don't you think? We don't need anything. I know that, but, you know, Daddy likes a big Christmas. and He's all about Christmas Day. <laughs> Don't be saying bad things about I'm, your ex-husband. It's not acceptable. Anything. He loves Christmas. He does. Christmas Day. I like Ch the Ch 364 Ch other days. Okay, Ma, that's fine. You're fine. We don't need to complain. I'm not complaining. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm, zip it. Why zip your it? lips. Shut why your mouth. Why is that a complaint? Because we're on a public 
We're on what a public thing. Why is that a complaint? You're not complaining. You're just trying to make a point, and we don't need it. <laughs> we hear your point every freaking day. We do not need no more points, if you know what I'm saying. I'm 65, I tell my family the same thing. I need nothing. I you know, don't, we don't. We buy everything we need when we need it. I mean, I love to buy stuff. Don't get me wrong. And I do love Christmas. I absolutely do. And that's the one thing about my old house. Tracy says hers is the 23rd of January. Really? This is why we're friends. Must be Aquarius. Anyway, can't sing. Can't do it. Not supposed to. Okay. I got to get all these little... I can't believe how perfect these little shiny berries are. Sage. Gold. Red. And it's the perfect red. And this has the sage in it. Is it not perfect, Mom? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It is. Uh-huh. Janice Jones is watching from Georgia. Well, hello, Miss Georgia. It's not Miss Georgia. It's I know. It, I know it's Janice from Georgia. I know, Mom. But I like to sing the song, Georgia. That's why I named my dog that. Gosh. Remember when Olivia used to sing it? <laughs> my niece, when she was a baby and I first had Georgia, I used to play the song quite a bit for her in the car. And she would be in the back seat. Georgia, Georgia. And she was a horrible, horrible singer. <laughs> and she did it for my dad one day. And he was like, Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, my God. It was hilarious. You had to be there, I guess. It was one of those things. Yes, because we are air and water, and we know Gemini a mile away. Ah, uh, that's so true. Uh, Lisa Morris. Hi, I'm Lisa. February 9th, turning 66. I'm Woo! 66, the speed limit. I'm going to be double nickels. C Cindy, 55. So she's Aquarius. Who is? Cindy. Cindy, when are you? Aquarius, too. Aquarius. Oh God! If you could have owned it, I'm gonna be double nickels. Double nickels. Fifty-five. Do I want to put this in here? I do. Just a little sprig. <gasps> I'm super happy with this little itty bitty. Look how itty bitty she is. Let me show you. Cindy's February 14th. Oh, woo! Look at her little itty bitty snowshoes. Hold on. I gotta get this glue string out of here and out of here and out of here. You guys like it? I don't think it needs any more ribbon. She's just a pretty itty bitty baby. I love her. She's cute. She'll go, she will do very well at the pottery cellar. That's where I put all my little ones. I want to. Thank you, Cindy in a dream. She's so cute. I wanted to hang Caddy Wampus, so this I want to make sure that when I put these two little things together, that they're gonna it's gonna hang right here. Alright. Look at that, we did that in like a half an hour. Bing bang boom. Bada boom bada bang. Ayo. Bada boom, bada bing. She's so pretty. And those little teeny, just little teeny pearls of color. I love them. All right, guys. That's it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Look at that. One pair of snowshoes, two pieces of green, two, and two little bags, $1.99 each, that had those three whatchamacallits. That's it. I can't get over it. Am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing something. <laughs> I'm not putting in extra bows. I'm not putting in any little ties. Let me just check that out. Let me just let me just see if I want to. I don't think I do. I don't like. This is the thing about Dupioni. hate the way it cuts. hate it. It costs too much money for the way it cuts. And you can't dovetail it. See? I'm not doing it. Okay, bye-bye. Adios. All right, that's it, guys. It does curl nicely, but I'm not a fan of the way it cuts. But it was the perfect color for this itty-bitty baby. Thank you, John. Thanks, Kimmy. Thank you all. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate you. And even if I never got another follow in the world, I'm so happy that you guys spend your time with me and Nana. 
and um, the farting Gia Luciano means the world to us. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Be kind to one another, and I'll see you on um, Sunday, if not sooner. Bye, guys.